Hi Leo, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are genuinely appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Leos, I'm doing an extended for this one. So just you know how I do, I'm very spontaneous, just mixing it up, <laughs> okay? So it's a general energy check-in. It's not gonna resonate with all of you as there are a lot of you in the collective. Uh, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Check your sun or moon rising, that may help you to connect the dots. Also, like I said, there's a possibility that this just may not be your reading and that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All of that information is in my description box. So the extended for this will be included in the description box as well. So if that is something that interests you, it will be there. Okay, Leo's cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And this is just uh, what happened between you and someone in a love relationship, how this person feels about you and how you feel about them. In the extended, I will be asking more questions, just getting uh, some more depth and more information on what's going on as in uh, the outcome, what this person wants with you, and of course, invaluable advice from spirit. So Leos, let's jump into your reading. So cards have already been shuffled and drawn, and I have walking away in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. Some of you are dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Cups. Ten of Swords in reverse. And Queen of Swords in reverse. Leo, some of you are dealing with someone who is very nasty. Very nasty energy. This was a bitch or an asshole. Mm -hmm. This person walked around with a chip on their shoulder and it's everybody's problem or everybody's fault why things are not going good in their life, but really it's their damn fault. Mm -hmm. It's because of their attitude. Their attitude sucks ass. Yeah. This is an ill-tempered person. This is a person who is very vengeful, very spiteful, very deceitful. Mm -hmm. This person has no problem lying to you. No problem backstabbing you. Mm -hmm. but I'm seeing Leo's you stayed with someone because that's just what you did it, you, it was like out of habit or fear I'm picking up so some of you you were afraid to leave this person I'm picking up a codependent energy as well uh, you felt like you've been with this person so long you may have a child or children with this person like you don't want to join the dating scene again. You may not even know how to date in the freaking 2021, right? Or whenever you broke up with them, you may have felt like you don't want to start all over again with somebody. So it's, it's like staying with the devil you know or staying in a situation that you know what to expect from it instead of moving towards the unknown. But you felt stuck with somebody. Mm -hmm. And this person, their energy shows up as the page of wands. So this person, very flighty, in and out, cheater, liar, unfaithful, disloyal. This was real top shelf piece of shit material, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. And you felt stuck to this person. You were very tolerant, very calm, very patient with this person. Mm-hmm. Some of you, I, I feel like you believe that, you know, you're just going to leave this up to God and God is going to take care of it. Spirit said, no, it was for you to take care of. Mm -hmm. This problem was for you to solve because you were supposed to learn some things from it. But I feel like you stayed with this person, Leo, because out of habit mm -hmm, and, and in hopes that things would change. Things would get better, but they never did. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, they got worse. I feel like somebody found out about a third party. And then probably like a couple months later, or maybe even a few weeks later, you found out another third party. And it was just like, it, it had gotten ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Some of you had gotten to this place where your confidence... Uh, self-love, self-esteem had been so eroded that you, you, you kind of felt defeated. Like, 
well, that's just how they are, right? And it's like, no, Leo, that doesn't make it okay. You know, just because someone's an asshole doesn't mean that that's okay. <laughs> or someone's a bitch. Oh, that's just their personality. Okay, so that doesn't mean you have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like this very resigned energy that like, you don't have any other options anyway, so you might as well stay with the devil you know. Mm -hmm. Some of you, Leos, you are entrepreneurs or uh, businessmen, businesswomen. Some of you are artists, but you were very generous of your time, your energy, your effort mm -hmm. with this person, your love. Some of you are lawyers, mm -hmm. are professional in some field. Someone does construction. Mm -hmm. or they have a construction company. But you were very generous of your time, with your resources. Mm -hmm. Very patient with somebody in hopes that they would get their act together. And they never did. No, nope, never did. It's like the more you forgave this person, the more they came back with the same bullshit. And the thing is, this person, like, they're in pain. Okay, Leos, let me show you something here. This person, this is you, king of... King of Cups. You show up as a king. Mm -hmm. Remember, there's no gender in tarot, right? So you could. this could be a feminine as well. And this person, their energy, they show up as a page of wands. So this, this was never balanced to begin with, right? Why would a king be with a page, right? The CEO of a company doesn't know the fry cook, right? They don't. They're not on the same level. They're not even on the same floor in the building. So this person wasn't, they were never on your level to begin with. Hmm. I just heard it was like, you being with this person was like trying to, I heard teach a kindergarten grade six work. So you were hoping that this person would get it and get to your level and start doing things in a more mature, because this person is a page, page of wands, very emotionally immature. Mm -hmm. So you were hoping that they would grow up eventually and they never did. And you stayed and waited and they just kept doing the same bullshit over and over and over again. And they also were, this person is just, it's bad to say, but I just say shit like how it is. They were genuinely like a, a bad person. Mm -hmm. Just low vibrational. They were shitty from the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's just how their energy is. They weren't trying to change or they have not matured. Like they haven't evolved there yet. Mm -hmm. And then picking up this very like... Very toxic energy. Just the, the things that they do is really fucked up. And this person didn't have a problem turning on you. This person talked about you, Leo. Mal spread malicious gossip about you. Mm -hmm. And then they'd have the nerve to come back and act like they want to be with you. When they would spread rumors about you and talk about you to other people. Gossip. This person was bad news, Leo. Bad news. And some of you were just, you stayed in a relationship with someone where you were just hoping and praying that they would change. Mm -hmm. Spirit said that was your first mistake. Mm -hmm. You don't need to sit around and hope and pray for anyone to change. It's not about them. It's about you. What are you going to do differently? Are you going to stay in this? Or are you going to leave? Because this person was not, they were bad news. Liar, cheater, deceiver, backstabber, malicious gossiper. Very, very spiteful, vengeful energy. They feel slighted in the slightest way by you. Slighted in the slightest way. They're going to come for your ass and then turn around and tell you that they care about you. And they're fully lying. Mm-hmm. 
That's the stuff that this person would do. Pretend to care about you. But it was really what you could do for them because you show, look at this, Leos. You show up in King of Cups energy. You're a king, right? You can handle your shit. Mm -hmm. This person's a page. They can't even make good decisions for themselves. They need other people to think for them. Very unstable and unstable. Emotionally immature. They don't know how to um, move forward. This is not the energy of someone who could like think of something they want to do. Create a plan of action and start making moves to do it. No, they're not. They don't do stuff like that. They don't know how to do stuff like that yet. Mm -hmm. I feel for some of you, you were with a, a grown ass adult. Mm -hmm. Like they put on this front like... They had their shit together, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. And you stayed hoping. I, I, you know what I also feel? I feel like this person kept promising you that they're going to make necessary changes and start putting in effort. Because mm -hmm. there's a very strong codependent energy here. It's like a, as soon as you leave, Leo, they come begging you back. I'm sorry, I'll change. You know, this happened to me in my childhood and... And I'm not discounting or discrediting any of that, but that still is not justification and that does not give you permission to treat someone else like shit. And also for you, Leo, I feel like some of you were excusing this person's bad behavior by just brushing it under the rug like, oh, well, that's just how they are. So fucking what? That's not okay, right? And this person knew you would do that and they exploited that. So they would come to you and be like, oh, you know, I grew up in a bad home. I had a dysfunctional family. Welcome to the real world. <laughs> a lot of people have problems. That doesn't give them, that doesn't give you onus or make you exempt you from treating people with respect. Showing compassion, kindness, empathy. That doesn't exempt you from that because you had a bad childhood. Welcome to the real world, motherfucker. That's how it is. But you stayed hoping and praying and they just kept stabbing you in your back. Mm -hmm. This person was very bad minded, bad minded, malicious person. Mm -hmm. Person, this is someone who will smile in your face and stab you in your back, right? I'm seeing an image of somebody who is hugging someone and they have the knife in their hand right and you don't even see it you don't even see it coming because for you you're like i don't you don't think that way right you don't think to love somebody that the person that you're with that you would hurt them to that level to that extent or even hurt them like you don't think like that this person they don't think like you you and this person are not the same leo you're not the same like i said you're a king of cups you're emotionally balanced you're intuitive Mm hmm And this is Page of Wands, in and out flighty. They're like a kite in the wind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here, there, everywhere. One minute they want to be in a relationship, the next minute they don't know. They can't decide. I mean, like, you have two kids with them already, and you've been together on and off for, like, 10 years. So what do you mean you don't know if you want to be in a relationship now or not? Like, what the fuck do you think is going on here? Mm-hmm. And I felt like some of you, you just kind of... You kind of gave up on yourself mm -hmm. because it was just like you were in a karmic cycle with a karmic soulmate. And it was the same thing happening over and over again. That is why spirit was like, this is not for uh, the most high to handle. This is for you. You came here to learn this, to love yourself, respect yourself, be loyal to yourself first. So how does this person feel about you, Leo? We have Crone. This is my bad bitch. Bad bitch card. Mm -hmm. I know what I want. I'm independent. I'm going for mine. Mm -hmm. This person sees you as someone like that. Mm -hmm. You grown. And you act grown. Mm -hmm. This person also sees, they feel like you don't have any desire for them anymore. You don't want their ass. That's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. 
but they feel like <laughs> this is funny they feel like you are pretending to be happy yeah and that you're not seeing the truth of something this person also feels like you have uh, some toxic behaviors and patterns about yourself Leo they feel like you're not structured they feel like you um, you have some bad influences around you so they may feel like you have people talking shit about them to you or you're talking shit about them to other people but I'm picking up Leo that this person this person is the one who's pretending to be happy mm -hmm. they're putting on this big ass front like all is well in their world and it's not this person's been wearing a mask mm -hmm. from ever since they friggin found one <laughs> right the first mask they found they never stopped wearing masks after that this person doesn't know who they are they don't know what they want this person is pretending to be happy. I feel Leo's like, for some of you, this person is with somebody else and they are pretending like they have the best relationship, but they fucking don't because this person is still in Page of Wands energy. This person still has not grown up. This person is still not structured or has routine in their life. They just still fly by night like what the fuck. They don't know what they're doing. They just live day by day. They have no plan of action for their life, for their future, for what they want. No plan. This is not someone who will have a plan for at least some idea of what they want to do next year in their life. No. No, no, no. They're just living day by day. They live paycheck to paycheck. This is someone who has a lot of bad habits, addictions, bad influences around them. So just remember, like attracts like. This is someone who has people around them who are not fucking doing shit with their life either. Mm -hmm. for some of you this person is with somebody who's not doing anything with their life yeah but I feel this person's energy is very toxic to me mm -hmm. I can feel low vibration it's actually kind of getting me angry like how dare you <laughs> the audacity of you to try to project your inner shit on other people because that's what I'm picking up from this. This person is projecting their own shit. They think that you're not seeing things clearly. They were never seeing things clearly from the beginning. They were pretending like they were, but they never saw shit. This person never had structure or routine or any balance in their life when they were with you and they still don't have it now. And I feel this bitter energy. This is somebody who is bitter, who is cruel. Mm -hmm. They're watching you, I heard. And they're very jealous and envious of you. Why, Leos? Because look at this. You a bad bitch. <laughs> you a bad mamma jamma. You're on your shit. You were grown when you were with them and you still fucking grown. Mm -hmm. You're doing big people things. Yes. You do adult shit. Right? You are carving a path for yourself. You are listening to your inner guidance. You are, I'm hearing, following your steps. So you are on your own path. You know what you want. You don't need permission from anybody to do jack. No. Because you grown. And this person sees that about you, that you're very mature and you're not putting up with their bullshit. You know what I'm picking up too as well, Leos? This person, they thought that they could, or you guys would separate and then they could come back into your life and you guys just pick up where you left off. But no, you're, you've grown even more. So they may come back looking for the old Leo, but you've already grown by leaps and bounds, quantum leaps. You're not the same Leo that would put up with shit like this. Talk to people, associate with energies like this. No. I feel too that this is also why this, this energy or this person feels like you're pretending. It's because they just don't understand the growth. Because they're not there yet. They think you're pretending to be happy because they don't know what real happiness is. They don't know what it looks like. Mm-hmm. 
So how did what how do you feel about this person, Leo? We have 11 of earth in reverse. Knight of coins. Ace of Earth in reverse, not surprised about this. And the High Priestess. Leo, you already know that this person is slow as shit. You, you're not waiting for them. Mm -mm, you gone. Because you know that by the time this person catches up to you, you're already gone. Mm -hmm. Five, ten steps ahead of them already in your own inner evolution. Right? You don't want, some of you, you have absolutely no passion for this person. You have no love for this person. Mm-hmm. You don't want anything to do with them. You Somebody has somebody blocked. When I say blocked, I mean like blocked social media, blocked. They can't call them. They can't text them, email them, nothing. Mm -hmm. Blocked. Yeah. I'm seeing someone go like this. Yeah. Some of you, Leos, you done with this person. Mm -hmm. Because you feel like they wasted your time in the past and you're not giving them the opportunity to do that again. Because you know that this person is not balanced. You know they're not balanced on the inside, right? They're still emotionally and mentally immature. Mm -hmm. This person acts like they have no sense. They just do stupid shit. And you know that. So for some of you, you know that this person is having money problems. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to put on this front like everything's cool, but it's not. You know that. Because you show up in the high priestess energy. So you know shit, you just don't say anything. Mm -hmm. You just keep keep your knowledge to yourself. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, I know about the shit that's going on with you, but that's your problem, not mine. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything to do with you, so I don't fucking care. Mm -hmm. Leo's, you know what I'm picking up? You have other options, so you don't care for this person. Mm -hmm. Some of you are already in a relationship with someone else. Some of you are allowing yourself to be courted by a few people right now. You have other options. So you don't care about this person. You've moved the fuck on. Mm -hmm. Because you know this person is slow as shit. Right. If they haven't gotten it by now, they're not going to get it. Uh, maybe not in this lifetime with you, mm -hmm. but you're not waiting around to find out either. Hmm. I, I don't know. Something happened, I feel. And this person did something, Leo, that just turned you off, like completely turned you right off. And any little bit of emotion you may have had for them, it, it's just gone. Mm hmm. They did something that was just, that was it. The light switch just went off for you. Mm -hmm. No. That was a wrap. I feel too that some of you may have a child or children with this person. But that doesn't deter you from moving forward. Like, you don't care. So, you're a child yourself. <laughs> right? You're a child yourself. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, Leos, this is what I have for you. I'm going to wrap this up here. Uh, if you are interested, click the link in the description box for the extended. I'm going to just dive a little bit deeper into this and find out uh, things like what this person wants with you. If they're going to be coming towards you, uh, the outcome of this situation, and invaluable advice from spirit. So if any of this resonates with you, the link will be in the description box. So Leos, with that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.